Are you guys ready to vote for the MLB All-Stars? Yes, I have been waiting for this day. I can't wait for the viewers to be mad on a guy we should have picked instead of the player we choose. That's the fun part about doing this. Yeah, like your opinion is the most important in the world, Donnie. You're not a philosopher. I hope that we can all come to an agreement of every player we choose. Just pick Bibby Watt, Barry, that's all I want. Joe, we may not even pick him, but that could change. What? We better pick Bibby Watt or I'll throw your PlayStation out on the front lawn. Typical crooked Joe going insane for no reason. All right, let's pull up the website and let's get voting. Okay, we're in, and do I need to go over on how we choose our player for each position? No, we should be good. Yeah, if Joe said that, then I think we're fine, Barry. Okay, good. Basically, if we get a majority vote on one player, that's who I'm going to put down on this ballot. Sounds fine to me. For the AL first baseman, pick Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Totally agree with you, Donald. He's the only good first baseman this season. No, Bryce Harper is way better. Joe, he's in the National League. We are voting for the American League first baseman. I agree too as well. He has the best average out of all of them and played the most games up to this point. Can't believe they're trying to trade Vladimir Guerrero for a bag of chips. I think the Jays are going to hold on to him for a bit longer. I can guarantee that. Barry, why did you click on Spencer Torkelson? He's not even in the majors. I thought he would be an all-star by this time last September. I do like Pete Alonso, has 10 plus homers and a quality OPS, but I gotta agree with Joe. Bryce Harper is hitting around 270 and is hitting close to 890 OPS. Honorable mention to Christian Walker, hope he can make it into the all-star game. Unfortunately, I gotta agree with Joe on voting for Bryce Harper. It ain't an all-star ballot without putting Bryce Harper. Like it ain't a ballot without putting Joe Biden on it. No, Sleepy Joe, it's the other way around. Trump all the way. Guys, can we not make a reference to a voting ballot? I'll put in Bryce Harper to shut all of you up. Wait, hold on, Donald. You said you wanted someone else other than Bryce Harper who could possibly be better than him. Reese Hoskins, duh. He's the better first baseman, that's all. He is in the DH spot, so you gotta wait a bit more. Back to the ballot. Are we good with putting Semyon in? Yes, don't want putting Buzzer Boy in the All-Star game. Ariana, he is literally having his best season in years and you're not voting for him? Total hypocrite. I'll go with Semyon, I guess. And Kettle Marte is literally the only option for the NL. Ben, it's Kettle Marte. I like Kettle Marty too, Barry and I love semen especially. You love what? Quickly moving on, there's no doubt we put Jose Ramirez as our AL third baseman. Dude doesn't get the love he deserves, and is a really underrated player in fantasy. I do have to agree with you, Barry. The only player that matches him is Isaac Paredes. He does deserve to make the all-star game as a reserve only because I 100% agree on what Barry said about Jose Ramirez. Now onto the NL third baseman. Isn't it obvious? It's Christopher Morrell. Not with that batting average, he's not. I don't want an all-star starter who's batting near the Mendoza line like that's some stuff you are on, Ariana. Did Hunter give that to you? My son doesn't even know Ariana, tan man. Joe, who do you think should be the NL third baseman? Joey Ortiz, I mean, we share the same name. I don't know if we should give that nod to a rookie. You know who we should pick? Ryan McMahon. Doesn't matter if he's on the Rockies, his stats look real nice there, an average OPS, a good batting average, and more. Fuck you, Ben. We are not picking McMahon. Just pick Alec Bohm. That's who the casuals are going to pick. Well, I do like that pick, Donald, but we should think this thoroughly. Barry, it's obvious that it is Alec Bohm. Pick him already. You know what? I'll do Ben's idea hasn't got some love yet this video. Fuck, Fuck you. you. All right, now on to shortstop. Baby Watt. Barry, pick him before little Benjamin says some bullshit. Come on, Joe. Don't tell me Gunnar Henderson is the guy here. He's clobbered 19 home runs and has a 950 OPS. But the batting average, Ben, he's batting 300 unlike Gunner. I do have to agree with Ben, and it's not because I don't like Joe's idea. I love the long ball. That's what the game is all about now. Since it's a tiebreaker, I choose Bobby Witt because he's more deserving of the all-star starting nods. Yay, you're the best, Barry. I'm thinking of Ellie De La Cruz for shortstop. No, CJ Abrams for shortstop. Come on, guys, it's Mookie Betts. He's the obvious one here, all bias aside. It's what the casuals are going to pick. Yeah, I can't hide that for a fact, too. Trying to pick another NL shortstop just won't do. I totally forgot about him, but yeah, I'll take him because of how good he's been so far this season. Now we got the catchers, and we got to take Salvador Perez on the crown team, Barry. I like that, too, actually, but we got to let the others say what they like. It's not close between Salvi and Adley. Salvi has a better OPS, batting average, and has more homers. Granted that Adley has missed some games. Yeah, Salvi is a stud. We gotta take him. Shout out Ryan Jeffers for his 12 homers so far. Consider it a unanimous vote for Salvi, Barry. Now on to the NL catcher. 
Do not pick William Contreras Berry. He hasn't been consistent so far, and voting him is a disgrace. Will Smith has a higher OPS than him. I know you'll make the right choice. JT Realmuto has got my vote. Ariana, it's been and will be William Contreras, and I'm speaking for the viewers here. Vote for this man as the starter in the All-Star Game. He's a workhorse, and nothing less will be very disappointing for the creator. We can do this. I can't hide the fact that I agree with Ben. Shout out Elias Diaz for being All-Star Game MVP last year. Dude was one of the most random All-Stars, too. All right, I'm putting Contreras on the ballot, and we can move on to the outfielders. It better be Wilson Contreras. On second thought, give me Will Smith. No, Barry, you can't pick the guy that slapped Chris Rock. Bro, are you serious? Just kidding, picking William Contreras is a no-brainer. You must be stupid to not pick him. Don't we get to pick three outfielders for our ballot? Yes, we do, and for the AL, it's also a no-brainer. Juan Soto, Aaron Judge, and Kyle Tucker. All rise, time for Donald's sentencing decision. Hope it's forever. Jeez, way to lighten the mood, Ariana. Also, shout out to Colton Kowser, Jaron Duran, Riley Green, Max Kepler, Adalis Garcia, Mike Trout, Julio Rodriguez, Jake Myers, and Stephen Kwan. All don't have good batting averages or just didn't play enough games. I think people are going to vote for Mike Trout whether he's injured or not. For sure, he has more name recognition than no one else. Hope he makes it. Finally time to vote for the National League outfielders and let's start with Ronald Acuna Jr. We can't vote for him, Donald. He tore his ACL again. Oh shit, forgot that happened. We definitely got to vote for Cody Bellinger. He did miss time, but since then, he's been a real slugger ever since he came back. We do have to vote for Jurickson and Profar. He has an up and down career and he certainly deserves an honorable mention because he's at least batting 300. Those are two low-key great picks, but if I could get one more, we can move on quicker than needed. Christian Yelich, we gotta share more fun facts about him. Why don't you share one yourself, Joe? Well, one fun fact is that Yelich was robbed of an MVP in 2019. I feel like I was robbed of something too. Shut it, Orange Cupcake, I won fair and square. You're wrong, Joe, but for Yelich, you're wrong as well. If he didn't get injured, Cody would have won regardless. Ben, 40 plus homers by September is nothing to scoff at. He would have won if he didn't get hurt. Finally, we're in the DH category. Can we just pick Otani and move on? Ariana, that's where you're wrong. You're choosing Otani because that's the easy answer. Pick Ozuna from the Braves. He has more homers, and like I said earlier, I love the long ball. That's what she said. You had that coming, Donald. But we're gonna pick the ALDH, so someone give me a name, please. Yes, Jordan Alvarez is the only pick worthy of the DH. Reminds me of Big Poppy. So far from it, now pick Ozuna from the Braves, Barry. Donald, are you seriously not gonna pick Otani because of that gambling and interpreter situation? Like, this can't be the reason you won't pick him. If we don't choose Otani, everyone is gonna flip out in the comments. This is by far the most blasphemous thing you have ever done, Donald. Hey, people are blinded by the stats Ozuna is putting up and Otani is about the same as last year, but Ozuna is having a bounce back season. There's no way I'm picking Otani. Shout out Reese Hoskins and Charlie Blackman. I want Otani too, but Trump just wants appeasement, honestly. To be frank, by the time we pick the starters for the All-Star Game, Otani will be the leading vote getter and will automatically start at the NLDH spot. So Donald, say what you want about Ozuna and all that, but I guarantee you by the end of this month, it will be Otani who starts over Ozuna. If you were voting for Otani, might as well vote for Joe for this year's election. So do we like our picks? Yes, hashtag Ozuna over Otani. Well, make sure to like and subscribe and comment if we should have picked someone else in our ballot.